In this video, I'm showing you the top three ladder decks right now in Clash Royale. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video. And as I said, I'm showing you the top three decks right now in Clash Royale for the Path of Legends or for Trophy Road. This is deck number three right here, guys, and I'm going to be playing one battle with each deck as I show it to you. Let's take this Royal Recruits Barb Hut deck over to the Path of Legends and just hit battle right here. I want to show you guys some ladder games with these top three ladder decks of course and something I like about all three of the decks that I'm going to show you is that they're all a little bit unusual even though these were all ranked in the top 10 on ladder at the time of me recording this video this guy meanwhile is going to be splitting a bunch of cards in the back uh, let's just go with a barb hut here guys yeah if I sound a little stuffy it's because I'm still a little bit sick guys that's why the video is coming out a few days late this week and he's gonna go Mega Knight right here. So let's just go with a Flying Machine and honestly a Bar Barrel too. And yeah, that Mega Knight's gonna get through those barbs pretty quickly. And that Inferno Drag though was honestly really bad on his part. And now he doesn't have Mega Knight. So wait, he's gonna go with a Firecracker too, guys. What is this guy thinking? Uh, we're gonna go with Royal Hogs here and we have arrows. Let's actually go E Spirit here on this side. And yeah, E-Spirit is going to clean up all those skeletons, so that was pretty nice. And Flying Machine on the right is going to get caught by some bats. We want to go Zappies here. Yeah, I was thinking about going Barb Hut, but this guy is just going to be playing cards non-stop. So let's just go with our Barb Hut now after we play the Zappies. And yeah, look at that push. That might force out a Mega Knight. We'll see if we can get that Mega Knight out of hand again. And yeah, it's really good for us to get his Mega Knight out of hand. There it is, and now... That's good for us because we can defend it with recruits. We can defend it with flying machine. Um, we'll start with a flying machine though and see if we want to get to our recruits because the hut is still there. Um, oh wow, he goes with his Evo firecracker and we're going to take that out and take out the Mega Knight as well. So now we'll go with pigs here and yeah, we'll go with arrows on this Skarmy. And yeah, we're going to get a lot of damage there. Let's go E Spirit here so he can't really make a push with that stuff. Zappies here are going to defend the Goblin Gang, no problem. And yeah, guys, we have a nice lead here on both sides with this Evo Recruits Barb Hut deck. And yeah, honestly, we have Evo Recruits in this deck, guys. I honestly forgot. And wait, he's going to have an RG. So that is not what I was expecting. Let's arrow here, though, on the Firecracker. And um, I think that's all we have to do there at that point. But guys, he has an RG. I'm not worried in the slightest because the Barb Hut is going to be such a good counter to that. Uh, let's just cycle some cards in the back here. We don't want to play the recruits, honestly, if we don't have to. And yeah, we'll go Flying Machine now. And we're always ready with that Barb Hut. We'll go Recruits here, though, to defend this. And then we'll go with a quick Barb Barrel to get rid of his Firecracker. And yeah, Skarmy on the left there is going to go down for him. Let's go Pigs here on the right with an E-Spirit, knowing that he doesn't have his uh, Mega Knight. And yeah, E-Spirit is going to wreak havoc on that Goblin Gang on defense for him. We can arrow here too because I feel like he has to bats or something. And yeah, he didn't play him. So we're going to take that tower out and get a nice win with the Recruits Barb Hut deck. All right, that was deck number three. Now to deck number two, and it's going to be this graveyard deck right here with the Evolved Knight. Now I don't have the Evolved Knight. I did have the Evolved Royal Recruits in the last game. But I don't even have the Evolved Knight, so I'm going to show you guys that this deck can work on ladder, even if you don't have the Evolution. And yeah, here we go, guys. I like this starting hand because we have a lot of great defensive cards, honestly. We could defend, like, Log Bait. We could defend if he had um, some sort of Hog. We could Tornado it or something. But he's going to have a Ghost, so it could be Bridge Spam here. Um, he's going to arrow the Ice Wizard. So we'll just Bar Barrel that and keep the Ice Wizard alive here. And then he's going to have Firecracker, guys. So let's maybe go with a Boulder in the back. Um, he's going to also go with a Goblin Gang there that mostly gets taken out. Um, let's go with a Knight here. And, oh, the Knight is going to be able to activate King Tower. We also pull the Hog over to the King Tower. So that was a little bit of a weird defense, guys. But I really wanted to make sure we got King Tower activated. And we'll see what he does here. Um, I'm gonna actually be a little bit aggressive here and go with this graveyard here on the tower We got bowler graveyard and that is a good combo guys He panicked a little bit and went with a mega knight and look at the graveyard guys. That's an easy tower We can leave the ghost honestly to save some elixir uh, because we have king tower up and yeah We're gonna go barb barrel ice wizard here to take out that um, 
firecracker and then i think that mega knight is also going to go down to the barbarian barrel right there along with that ice wizard so guys that was some nice defense here and now all we have to do is play clean defense and finish off this game and yeah clean defense is what this deck is all about guys he goes hog right there we have a tesla with our king tower up but guys let's be honest here he's not taking either of these towers and yeah only 14 seconds left for us to lock up this dub that's an easy win with that bowler graveyard deck now that we've seen the first two decks let's go to the last one which is going to be this golem elixir collector deck right here i'm not sure why but golem elixir pump has really been taking over the meta lately and yeah guys i'm not much of a golem player but let's just take this deck over to the Path of Legends and try to get a nice win with it. This is another one where it has the Evolved Knight, but I don't have the Evolved Knight. So again, even if you don't have it, you can still use the deck, guys. And against J-Ball here, we're going to go with Skeleton Dragons because that's exactly what he did. And we should be able to just trade over these real quick. Um, he's going to go Wall Breakers here, so let's just Bar Barrel one of them and honestly leave the other one, I think. Yeah, guys, the Skeleton Dragons were a little bit of a misplay because they just canceled out. But um, let's see if we can get an opportunity to maybe pump here. Yeah, let's go with the Elixir Pump. This guy's got a weird deck so far. He has Wall Breakers and um, a Fisherman with Skeleton Dragons. So he's going to Fireball that right there. Um, let's go with our Knight here on the fisherman and get a nice trade there and then he's gonna go with recruits guys so let's just go with an e-drag here got to make sure that we're placing our cards fast enough when we have that pump up so that we're not leaking elixir but we can go with skeleton dragons here on this side we have a lumberjack if we need to protect our e-drag so yeah let's protect that real quick uh we're gonna protect our e-drag and get him raged up here eventually and yeah e-drag raged up is gonna be able to take out his skeleton dragons and our skeleton dragons are going to take out his mother witch so yeah guys if we go with a bar barrel here we're going to protect the skeleton dragons for a second and look at that damage we're getting on the left guys that is huge damage and yeah let's just go in with another elixir collector because he also used his wall breakers on defense so he needs to fireball this right away and guys now is going to be our opportunity to go in for a golem i think so let's drop the golem in the back guys perfect timing with this pump and yeah we're gonna get another elixir once that pump goes away and guys look at the elixir we have at this point now we can go like skeleton dragons for um these recruits and then go with a lumberjack here with our push and go with our e-drag as well guys we want to get this uh golem to the tower as fast as possible we're going to defend his evo recruits on the right there with a bar barrel and he's going to fisherman pull the golem but guys honestly let's just go with another one um just in case we don't take tower there but the lumberjack and the e-drag are going to take that tower so guys now i kind of wish i didn't even go with the golem but we can defend all this stuff with a knight uh we can honestly leave the fisherman on the other side and then we'll go e-drag on defense this time e-drag is going to be a really strong defensive card for us here go e-drag with a bar barrel and honestly tornado this stuff too guys i don't even want to risk it wait he has a bomb tower but he didn't even have enough elixir last time to defend with it but guys that's hilarious we're going to get an easy dub with this golem deck and just drop another golem on him for fun but yeah that was three nice wins with these ladder decks and now i'll do a quick recap and just show you guys what they are one more time so we started with this evo royal recruits royal hogs deck that also has the barb hut then the second one was this bowler graveyard deck that has really strong defense and then finally of course we ended with the golem elixir collector deck where you can just build up one huge golem push and win the game but anyways guys if you made it this far in the video make sure to give me a like and a comment if you want guys that only takes a few seconds but it helps out the channel tremendously and i really appreciate that thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed today's battles with the top three ladder decks in clash royale right now but yeah thank you for the support once again guys and i'll see you guys next week with another clash royale video